Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at John's Wrecking Yard in Haltom City. I'm looking for some trim parts on uh, my 1998 Astro van. And they said they have one, but I do not see one anywhere here. It's just a big waste of my time. I got two other places to hit. Lone Star Rider Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at AAA Crane's Wrecking Yard. This place is a lot more organized than the last place. The last place sucked. <laughs> uh, anyway, they gave me the roll of uh, two of them, they ha uh, two Astro vans they have here in P8 and P18 are the rolls. And then, if you can see there, they've got these rows and then number, which is really nice. Let's go see what we can find. Well, here's the uh, first one I'm going to look at, and it's P8. And this is exactly like my van. I don't see any, oh, I do see visors. That's what I need. And they don't have any, well, they do have this trim I need that part and oh, you got a door panel but I don't need it but if you remember from my last video I broke this so this I'm getting and they do have two visors so they're kind of crappy looking, but I'm going to get them. But they don't have, oh, nope, they don't have that either. I was looking for this trim right here. They don't have that. Maybe on the other one. I'm going on my lunch break, Mr. Krabs. You got five minutes. Wow, one more minute than yesterday. I scored some pretty good parts here. Got both visors, which is awesome because I'm missing both visors. And this piece of trim I broke right here. That was one whole nice piece. Wasn't able to get that other piece of trim off. It just had some uh, torques in it, but it wouldn't turn the screws. So I just gave up on it. But uh, yeah, yeah, scored pretty good. When I get back, I'll show you what I got and we'll put it on. But man, it is hot today. It's usually cold now here up here in Fort Worth area. Uh, this time of year or at least cooler man it is really hot all right see y'all in a little bit i said i'd show y'all what i got here and this part is the uh, trim that i actually broke you can see that on the previous video number three looks like it has a little broken spot here but that's fine at least this whole part is intact. Uh, I'm going to try to install that here in just a little bit. The uh, next thing that I've got here is put everything in this trash bag. Uh, by the way, here's the receipt. All this stuff here that I got cost me $35, which I think is a, a, a deal, a good deal. Yeah, they're all used parts, but these things are hard to find on this van. You can see this right here, it's pretty filthy. I'm gonna try to clean it up and I might go ahead and just um, recover him. Just take the covering off and then redo it. I don't know how hard that's gonna be. But I have two fully intact sun visors. I am so stoked about that, yeah. And also got the other end on both of these where they snap in. Oop, 
That's something else there. And I, I got all the, the uh, screws with everything here uh, because I wanted to make sure I didn't have to go buy any. Yeah, see, like this right here, I got two of them. Now, neither one of these have mirrors on it or powered with a light because the one on the passenger side has a wire that would plug into it and light it up and had a mirror. This one doesn't have that, and I don't care. <laughs> it's not going to bug me one bit. And you know what? That might be true, but, and it might not be true later. I'm trying to get all these other nuts out of here. Yeah, got all the, uh, the nuts here and uh, plastic things that snap on. I got this plastic bag from my daughter. Uh, for when I was cleaning out storage, which I'm not done with. So that's that's done here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get that tool. Okay, I'm back. This little uh, tool, and I got, I always get craftsman stuff, um, but if I break it, I can take it back. But there's a lot of other companies that do that. But this here allows you to clip in there and pop that stuff off. I should have used this instead of breaking that plastic trim and I wouldn't have had to go purchase this up. But, hey, I got one. Yeah, I'm excited about that. All right, so we're gonna install this thing here and then I'm gonna close the video out for that. I might add in the, uh, the rubber trim I'm putting in in the back to on this video I might not oh the other thing that I got which I forgot to tell y'all is this gas cap uh, I got it because of this tether and I tried to take this tether off this gas cap and I couldn't do it especially it was being hot out there in the whole bit. just going to replace this cap with the other one I think or I'm gonna try to take it off and then put it on but that's one of the other parts I got now up here I'm going to take this the rest of this trim off and I'm going to put that other trim in right here is this trim and I know from the other one well there's a wire in here too looks like that was added on the trusty tool if I have to do it from this side no it goes all the way back there That, that came out actually easier than I thought. Yeah, there's some added extra wires here. I'm not sure where they uh, go to, but one of them might be for going back to the back. Uh, I do have a red wire, and this one looks like a speaker wire, but I believe it's probably the, the camera, rear camera. This piece is trash. And we're going to insert the other one. Both the plastic clips are in here right there and that one and this end looks like it has a place for a screw that it was screwed on to I'm gonna slide it in behind here hopefully let's we'll see if that's gonna work this thing does not want to stay over here there we go go look on the other side and see how that went. Alright, the other side has a grab handle on it and it's screwed in here so I yeah that little broken spot that I showed you is supposed to clip into this metal thing. Here I'll show you. Yeah this part that's broke goes into this little clip right here. So I'm going to probably put a screw right there to hold that in. Uh, a nice screw because there's a place to put a screw for the part back here. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do is put a screw where it goes into that clip right there. <sighs> this isn't snapping in. Or it did and 
Yeah, it snapped in there. Okay. All of that looks good and the way it's supposed to be. Um, I boxed those screws and I'm going to put that in there. Something like that anyway. <laughs> I never claim to know what I'm doing. Hey, if you guys know anything about... Well, this is vinyl. It looks like it's got mold on it. Uh, what I should be using on this to clean it. Because I'm hoping it'll just clean up. I don't know. I was thinking maybe some bleach or... Maybe not bleach, but... Some 409 or something. Uh, I've had enough of today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This weekend I'm going to be in Lano, Texas at the Texas uh, Overland Expo uh, near Lano, Texas. I think it's actually in Lano, Texas. It's a pretty good expo. I went there about two years ago, maybe three. And I didn't have anything scheduled this time, so I'm heading over there. Uh, after that, I'll be in East Texas. So I'll post my schedule up, the newer schedule, <laughs> and you guys check it out and you can see where I'm going to be. The van is not coming with me. It's going to be the trailer and the motorcycle. Uh, of course, the van's not finished. Catch y'all on the road here in Richland Hills, Texas, doing the van build. I believe this is the fourth video. Uh, there is a playlist you can go check it out from the beginning of buying it to now yeah be awesome well let my hair grow out a little bit looks like a mess in the wind um, <laughs> um, 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 um. All right. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, I am not going to install these. So the uh, uh, yeah, and I tell you what that. Uh, See if there's any other screws in here. I don't think there is. Uh, that so I am uh, so uh, let's look at that. Uh, here we go.